Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, I have brought you four amazing tricks that will surely going to help you in making your dimension look more professional. So you can see that over here, I have provided uh, this dimensions and this is what we are going to make it to look professional. So the first thing that we are going to see is how we can just make our dimensions distance equal. So what I'm talking about is that you can see that from here, that this distance is something different from this distance so here this distance is a greater one as compared to this and similarly if you are going to find this in all the figures like over here you can see that the dimensions or the distance is different and it looks very informal so you have to make them in an equal length so that it looks formal so how to make it so that we are going to see so i'm going to delete this dimension over here and then I'm going to provide a new dimension again. So for that, I'm going to click on this linear dimension. I'm going to provide, select this two line for the dimension. And once the dimension is started, you have to hover around this point again. And you have to see that uh, dotted green lines were going to be started. So yes, it is started over here. And then you have to provide the value. Like I want a distance of 2 mm or the separation of 2 mm. So I've written 2 and I have pressed the enter button. And now this distance is very much specified, which is this distance over here is 2 mm. So I have provided this length. Similarly, I can provide it for this linear value also, which this which is this vertical one. So I'm going to provide this to value. And let's say that I want to make it too. So I'm going to again snap this point and hover it. You can see that the dotted line will going to start. Provide the value, which is 2. Just press enter. And now you can see that this length and this length is equal. It is 2 mm and here also it is 2 mm. Similarly, I can make this uh, dimension as well. So I'm going to delete these two. And I'm going for the linear dimension. I'm going to select these two points. And when, when the dotted line started, provide the value that you want. And you can see that it will going to be the same value, which is 2 mm. Here also you can do the same. You can see that the dotted line is started, provide the value, and this will going to have the equal length. So with the help of this, you can create the equal lengths. So the next trick that I have brought you is how we can just add up the alternate unit into our dimension. So let's say that we have created a line of 100 mm. So I have I'm right now my unit is mm so or a decimal, but I am going to pr provide I'm going to create a line that is of length 100 mm and then I'm going to provide a dimension. So I'm going to click on this linear one and then I'm going to provide a linear dimension in between. So if I'm going to increase the dim scale, let's just increase the dim scale a little bit. So that the dimension becomes bigger. Now I'm going to provide a linear dimension again. And now you can see that it is showing up the 100 mm of length. But let's say that you want to represent an, another unit or an alternate unit like it is representing 100 but still in the bracket it represent it in the uh, inch. So you can have an inch also so that it becomes more easy to cal for the manufacturer to calculate the value like let's say that what is the value of 100 mm so you can see that i have the converter in google so i am going to provide 100 over here and it should come around 3.93 inches so here it should mention that it should be in you in inches also like here it is 3.93 inch or you can say that it's written over here like this so how to do that for that you just have to go for its properties so there's an annotation tab just click on this arrow that is provided and you will see that this is what known as dimension style click on the dimension style and then here it's a standard dimension style so i'm going to modify this so just click on the standard just modify it and once you modify it you will see that there is an alternate unit option over here if you want to display the alternate unit, you have to click on this alternate unit display on. And then here you have to find out the value. Like here I have, I can't provide anything over here. I want it in the inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this multiplier of the alternate unit. Right now it's 25.4. It means that if I'm going to make it okay. And if I'm going to close it. Okay, you can see that it will going to multiply whatever value is with 25.4. So it value this value is basically uh, uh, something else, but we want a correct value of inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out what is the value of inch in the mm. So let's say that one in one mm, one divided by 25.4. So if we have to multiply it with this value, which is 0 0.039. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going for uh, the unit again which is display style again and from here I'm going to modify this and I'm going to change this multiplier value of the alternate unit to what is the value that it comes in the calculator which is 0 0.0393 which is 0. Point, we can just 0 0.0394 we can write it as 0 0.394 just make it okay and now if I'm going to close it you can see that it is doing a correct unit over here which is 3.94 so it is uh, in the in like this here it is writing in mm and in bracket it is written 3.94 let's just create a 50 mm of line and let's just find out whether it is correct or not so i have created a 15 mm of line over here and then i'm going to select a linear value if i'm going to provide this dimension its value is coming 1.97 let's just see if if it uh, comes uh, 1.97 or not yes it is coming 1.97 around sort of so with the help of this you can just find out how to have the alternate unit but be sure, be sure about the multiplier you have to provide the correct multiplier value like over here in the alternate unit we have provided the correct multiplier value which is 1 mm uh, it's uh, basically 1 mm is how much inch so this is 1 mm in inch so what we have done I'm going to repeat it again I have just divided since one uh, I want it in inch so I have divided it with the uh, value of one inch one mm sorry like this and it comes around in this value so you can if you are providing that value it is showing up the alternate unit similarly there is a circle also if you're going to create a circle if you're going to create a radius value it will going to show up that alternate unit in inches So the next thing that I have brought you is how we can just change up the extension line length. So over here you can see that these are known as extension line. So right now you can see that these extension lines are very big and all the extension lines are having different lengths. Now I want them to be equal. I don't want the different extension length. I want them to be equal. So how we can do that? For that we are again going for this dimension format which is over here which is dimension style click on this dimension style and then just go for the standard modify it and in the modification you can see that there is one in the line section over here so in the line tab it will it, this tab deals with all the types of line let's say that you want to change up the color then you can just change up the colors here as well so for the main line also and for the extension line also so if you want to make him make them red you can see that it will going to be red and now it's time to okay so here is one more thing that if you want to suppress the dimension line also you can just suppress it but let's say that now you want to make the line uh, fixed length of the extension line then here is the option you can just click on this fixed length extension line and then you have to provide the value that you want like by default it's 1 mm you can just have change you can change the value from here just make it okay and just make it set current and just make it close and now you can see that all the dimension line will going to, or the all the extension line will going to be of the same length everywhere you can see that so this makes it look more presentable you can see that now the diagram is looking more clear and you can easily find out where the dimension is so make sure that if you want to make your diagram look clean you can use this change in extension line so the last tool that we are going to see is known as continue and continue will going to help you in creating the continue dimensions as the name suggests so let's just create a dimension first so i'm going to create a linear dimension in between these two lines like this and we have uh, let me just change the dim scale to make it more big so i'm going to change the dim scale to 10 and now if I'm going to provide a new dimension, it will going to be of bigger length like this. Now you can see that over here, you can see that this is how we have created one dimension. But let's say that you want to continue this dimension. So at that time, you just have to go for this annotate tab from here. And in the annotate tab, you will see that there is a whole dimension tab. And in that we have this option, which is known as continue. So it will going to help you in increasing or making your dimension easily providing the dimension. Like I want to provide a dimension like till this point. So I can just provide it till this point. And similarly, I can just provide it till this point. 
and the best part over here is that it, they uh, will all be in a same length there will be no difference if i try to create in a different length like you can see that if i move my mouse up and down still it is not changing its length its length basically so that's what continue dimension will going to do for you it will going to create a continue dimension of equal lengths so these are the four tricks that will surely going to help you in making more professional dimensions and if you like this video then please do press the like button and subscribe this channel for the updates like this thank you and catch up you with the next video